Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lifthier20 and welcome back to Minecraft on a brand new 1.21 Tricky Charles update. Now, I'm excited for this update because there's a lot of stuff included with this update. We got wolf armor, wolf variants, we got a maze that can like almost one shot anything from a high enough height. And well, we got the trials themselves and a lot of other stuff. But overall, I'm excited to start this journey with you guys on the brand new Hardcore Survival Series. So, without further ado, let's get on the way. Alright, now obviously when you create a world, you need a perfect name. And I think the best name for this should be the Trials of Redemption. Kind of play a little bit of pun on the uh, brand new update here. But also the fact that I want to redeem myself from my previous Hardcore Survival World. So, that's why I'm naming it that. And look at this spawn. We got a pretty good one. We got oak, birch, a lot of good stuff. I also see some sugar cane, so let me grab that real quick. Don't wanna, don't wanna leave that behind. Oh, hey, we have like one of those random, like almost perfect circle uh, structure spawns right here. So it's like almost perfect all the way around. That's pretty cool. But well, let's get some wood because we need to start that off for our first step of Minecraft. I don't know how much wood we should grab, but I think for now let's make a few planks, start crafting table, and then start getting some stone tools because that would probably be the best course of action right here. Now, if you know this channel, I like to get 16 cobblestone. That's enough for a sword, pickaxe, axe, and a furnace. Which all of that is very useful for us to get. And there we go. We got just enough. So let's make our tools right now. Starting with the pickaxe, followed by the axe. And then we'll end it off with the little sword here. And might as well create the furnace while we're at it. Now let's continue chopping down some trees. Now we do need to find some animals to kill, or at least some wheat seeds. So that way we can get a uh, little farm going on and get some food. Alright, so there is a plains biome over here. Let's try to see if we can find like a village or at least something useful, you know? Alright, we got some pigs and cows. Okay, that is perfect. We can use that for some food and get some leather as well. Because we will need that for the future as far as getting like an enchantment table goes. But we're not at that stage yet. Oh, I should have grabbed some of the coal while I was like back at that little like weird cave structure thing. Oh, well, I'll grab some more coal in a, uh, in a second here. Plus, if need be, I can make some charcoal. Ooh, I see some trail marks over here. Is there a village hidden behind this little, like, cliffside here? Oh, my God, there is one. Perfect. All right, let's see what's down here. Let's try not to, like, completely jump down. I don't want to take too much damage here. All right, let's see what's inside these houses. We got a little stone cutter right here. Let me grab you. And then let's see. There might be something useful over here. Let's see. We got a bed. I'll grab one of these because that'll be useful for a little bit of a uh, skipping through the night here. We got some bread and some armor. Okay, perfect. Let me grab this chest as well. Don't wanna, don't wanna leave everything behind, you know. All right, let's see what type of crops you have. Probably wheat over here, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of carrots and beef root and potatoes. Oh, we got a good mixture of stuff. Oh, that's perfect. We don't have to worry about really any of them now. Although I will say, I'm gonna make a stone hoe. I'm gonna grab some of this like wheat bales over here because that'll be very useful for grabbing some food right here. And there's also some coal exposed right here. That is perfect for the. Uh, for the cooked meat that we're gonna have. But let me make some bread real quick. It's all I, all I ever wanted was a piece of bread. And then some copper would probably be a little bit useful. Get some like telescopes and whatnot. All right, what's inside here? We got a flushing table. Not really too useful. I don't, yeah, they did not update it whatsoever. Okay, I was thinking they might have updated it, but no, it does not seem like it yet. I really hope they do because that would be so cool being able to like create some new arrows and whatnot with that. Honestly, I feel like that's what they should do do when we get to that stage of like grabbing the uh what you call it making like lingering potions and whatnot and you can like combine it to make tip arrows kind of like the netherite stuff you can just do that with the arrows because it's like i don't know you have netherite in like kind of late stage game type of thing why not do it for the arrows as well all right so i know we need a perfect spot to live at and i think over here would be a perfect spot we'll have like kind of like a snow village going on kind of like a norse theme you know i have it be like norse theme or have like a bit of a castle going on have like a kingdom Ooh, and we got some donkeys over here. Ooh, we got a lot of them. And we got some more sheep. Let me actually kill them because I want to get their food and wool. You know, it's crazy. I remember back when sheep only dropped wool. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's been here forever. But I also know it's not been here forever. Like, not since day one. Then again, I also remember a lot of stuff before, like, 1.4. Like, I started around that, like, 1.2, 1.3 era. And I remember being so excited seeing, like, 1.4 come out with all the, like, poppers and the redstone comparators and all that fun stuff i mean hell the elytra is like nine years old at this point i think if i remember correctly but i don't know it's crazy because like i've been playing this game for so long and i remember a lot of stuff but at this point it's starting to like blur together with some of these items i am actually kind of sad though because the uh, snow biome is not really that big but it does look like we got a pretty good spot over here though now i should probably be going to bed here soon the sun is setting and i don't want to be i don't want to be caught with my pants down right now 
All right, I think I'm gonna build a little house right here. Nothing too marvelous. I'm not gonna do the kingdom idea, maybe because, I don't know. It just does not feel like a good area overall now after seeing it's just like a little bit of snow and then grass everywhere. I like that like rocky snow mountain feel to it. But let's start making this base. We don't need something too marvelous, but I do wanna have like, I don't know, kind of like an old village type of feel with it with that little like square hut type of thing. Now, I'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone if I wanna recreate that. So let me grab a bunch here. I think a stack should do, but we'll see what I need. All right, we gotta be very careful. There's a couple skeletons around. I don't want to get shot at because they will kill me pretty much like instantly. Oh yeah, no, I am not staying around there. Actually, there's some iron. Nope, there's a zombie after me. Never mind. We'll get the iron later. We will get the iron later. All right, let's get started on this house right here. Let me clear up a little bit of this grass and let's get started. I think something around here should be good. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll make it an eight by eight. I think that would be a pretty good idea right here. All right, this should be an 8 by 8 right here. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. Let me actually move the chest right here because we don't need it right there. And then we'll have a bed right here. We should probably have a second one to complement it. And there you go. We have a second bed to complement it. Now let's make some flooring because you can't have a house without some floors here. And while we're at it, might as well make a uh, a shovel right here. All right. We got the floor all set up. Now we just need a few more items and we have a home sweet home. All right. So I think my plan here is I'm going to place like wood logs right here. Just to give it a little more depth. Uh, let me break that. That's not what I meant to do. But give it a little more depth. Give it a little more personality, you know? And I'm going to leave some gaps right here just for some windows. I think that will look very, very nice. And I'm not going to make it too tall. Just a couple blocks. Not something uh, not something too outlandish here. Although I will need to get some more wood. So let me go over to the little horse over here. Okay, so this might have been a little bit of a mistake here. We got the sun setting right over there. Uh, I got to make this a quick expedition over here. Issue is I have no clue how much wood I need. So I think I'm going to go with like a little bit of a stack here. If any danger approaches, we need to book it straight away. Thankfully, I should have enough bread to last me a little bit here. So we should be able to get a lot of wood and then head back home. Because all I, all I, all I ever wanted was a preach of bread. Okay, we got a creeper approaching. Please, I just need this wood. Okay, see ya. Yeah, I am not sticking around where that creeper is. That is a death sentence if I stay nearby. Okay, all I have to do is make it back home. I see a skeleton. We just kind of squeeze around them. Just go around, you know? Don't need to go through, just around. And we got another creeper right here. I'm gonna run past you. All right, hopefully there isn't too many dangers up ahead, but I feel like there's gonna be like seven skeletons and like all of them are drawn straight towards me. Ooh, we got some iron, hang on. But like all of them are gonna be drawn towards me and shoot every single arrow at me, just one shot on me instantly. Oh, yep, there's one of the skeletons. How many more are lurking around? I think there's one in the bushes here. Yeah, I see ya. All right, let's see if we can kind of sneak around the skeleton. Please don't shoot me. I am not here. You don't see me. I am invisible. I think we're not gonna be able to sleep. Ooh, okay, we are perfect. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. And perfect. Okay, Ooh, was worried there we'd be, uh, we'd be shot awake there. But now we should have enough resources to finish the rest of the house here, or at least for the most part our house here. You know, I really wish they added a woodcutter into the game because it would be so cool making like wooden stairs and slabs at like a cheaper price. Because honestly, that's the only thing I really need, not gonna lie. And this should be enough stairs because I do want to have it be a nice looking area. All right, so I think the roof should only be about this tall. I don't think it should be too much taller here. It would look a little weird. And I'll probably add some slabs at the top just to give it a little more, a uh, little more love to it. So let me quickly do that right here for the top layer, so that way we don't have to jump up here again. And there we go. We do need to make some torches because I don't think I'm gonna really like fill in the inside of this roof here. We also do need some torches for the outside of the house. Not gonna do too much for the upstairs here. Just gonna kind of fill it in right now. Ah, oh, we just need a little bit of wood for this little area here. Let me sleep first, get some wood, and then we'll place some torches on the outside so that way we don't have like a lot of mobs nearby. Ooh, we got a skeleton. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Panic mode. Panic mode. No, no, no. Please don't kill me. Ooh, okay. We're at two hearts. Let me, uh, let me kind of save myself here. Uh, not gonna allow any more skeletons coming in. Okay, that was not my finest moment right there. That was really not my finest moment. Okay, okay. I should be good. I should be good now. Wow, that was horrible. I panicked way too hard right there. All right, this should be more than enough wood, so that should allow us to finish this little area up here. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we just need to make some more torches, and this should be more than enough for the little outside of our house. Let me also place some on the floor here. 
place them on the tree. Why not? Have a little, uh, little kind of nostalgic feeling with this. And then we don't need to go too crazy with this, but we do kind of need to go crazy with it because we have no protection whatsoever, really. I mean, we do have two pieces of leather armor, but it's not really that useful. Although it did kind of save us there with the uh, skeleton. All right, now we just need the final touches to make this house a home. So let me make a chest. And then we need, ah, we need one more piece of wood for a door. Hang on. There we go. We got just enough for a little bit more wood. So let me make this door now. We place down the doors right here. And the last thing to make this house a home is placing the furnace right next to the crafting table. So there we go. Now it's a home. We have our beautiful home, sweet home. Now, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. So if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I do apologize once more again for the fact that I haven't uploaded a lot recently. But I'm going to try to change that right now. And yeah, so without the way, this has been Luther20 signing off. Bye-bye.